Hi everyone, welcome to NX70X uh, station, another video, educational video from November X-ray 7, Delta X-ray from Western Washington, there we go, here we go, hello, we're saying hello over there, and uh, we're basically doing a, we're gonna do a demonstration related with the 75 meters antenna wire dipole antenna which is basically 200 and, uh, 246 feet long uh, for 75 and we do have a relay at the end of one side of the leg we add 40 feet of wire to the relay to make it work on on 160. So it's a 75 meters 160 antenna uh, dipole. All right, uh, this is pretty much the antenna is uh, very much pretty much. Uh, uh, very low is the only are on 75 meters in the very wide part very wide angle of the antenna all right let me put it right there let it focus and we're gonna see um, we are right now on uh, 75 meters all right, this part here, the lower side of the meter, that's the SWR. And this one here, that would be the power. So, we're going to go up and down the bend without tuning. That's basically over there, the tuner, Polystar tuner. We are bypassing then the antenna, the tuner, bypassing the tuner. Okay, so this is nothing, no cheating, no nothing. It's just a phenomenal job on the 75 meters, uh, 80 meters antenna and 160. All right, right now we are on 3540. 3540 if you see at the bottom of the meter here SWR meter it's gonna show very low SWR 30 on 3540 all right this is an X70X November X-ray 7 Delta X-ray uh, 1.5 1.5 We got the 3560 November X ray 7 Delta X ray and X 70 X 1.5. Then I got the 3600 November X ray 7 Delta X ray 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 3600. All right, uh, 3650, 3650, and X70X, November X-ray 7, Delta X-ray, 1.3, 1.3. As you see, SWR is going down, it's going, the SWR is going lower and lower towards the middle of the, of the band. Let's try 3695. November X-ray 7, Delta X-ray and X-70X uh, testing uh, so 1.0, 1.0 1.0 uh, 36.95 
we're gonna try uh, 3730 3730 November x-ray 7 Delta x-ray and x70x uh, we got 1.0 1.0 1 to 1 1 to 1 Alright, we're gonna try 3803 uh, November X ray 7, Delta X ray, and X7 DX, uh, low radio. 1.1 to 1, 1.0, 1 to 1, flat test WR. We're gonna try. About 38.50. Boy, it's pretty quiet, the band. Which I'm glad. Alright, 38.50. 55. Strike 54. Okay, November X ray 7, Delta X ray, and X 70X. So 1.2, 1.2. Uh, start going up. Let's try 3900. I think it's gonna start going up. This is start going up the SWR 3900 November X ray 7 Delta X ray and X 70X 1.4 1.4. Must be 1.5 already on 39.50. 39.48, let's try 48. November X ray 7, Delta X ray, and X 70X, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 38.48, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 
Let's go 1930. November X ray 7, Delta X ray 1.3, 1.1, 1.1 1 .1 to 1. Let's go 65. And X70X, X, November X ray 7, Delta X ray 1965, uh, 1.965. 75 meters uh, 1 to 1 flat SWR Let's go 1985 Okay, November X-ray 7 Delta X-ray and X-70X uh, flat SWR 1 to 1 one point zero two one one to one and the top of the band November X ray seven Delta X ray and X seventy X uh, testing uh, once again very low SWR flat SWR okay all the way from the bottom of the eighteen hundred is one point five 1840, 50 is a 1.4, and 1870 is a 1.3, 1880, 1890, I uh, started getting down 1.2, 1900, and all the way up. Uh, they're pretty much uh, low, very one to one SWR. Okay, so there we go. That's the test what uh, we're doing uh, here at the NX and the X station and right here this little light is basically the relay I turned the switch three leg three leg to uh, three leg uh, switch I turn it on uh, I activate the relay and it goes for 75 and 160 and then I drop it down uh, it goes some 40 meters okay so when I activate the relay it activate the relay send power the switch send power to the relay to cut it for 75 meters I mean for 160 and uh, cut the relay off uh, it goes uh, for 75 meters it goes flat SWR for 75 meters and uh, the basically design of the antenna basically the design all right let's put a little face here the nx70x anyway uh, uh just uh, let me set up this real quick here make it more comfortable okay uh, well basically all what it is everybody is just a regular dipole it's a hundred two hundred two hundred and forty six feet long when at one side of the leg uh, you had a uh, a relay <clears throat> which is basically I'll show you right now I think I got it right over here it's a MFJ relay uh, here we go that's a uh, da -da -da, 500 volts, 5 volts uh, relay on it. Okay, this is an old relay. Uh, I had it for probably about 4 or 5 years on my, on my loop, which I was doing 1775 and 160 meters, activating with this relay. And uh, finally showed it out, put a 1KW out and uh, uh, somehow it did shut it out uh, with the with the got water to it. Anyway, 
So this is a MFJ relate. But you put it on. You can use any other. You can use any other type of relate. So basically, what you do is just get the dipole 246 feet, uh, and then at the end of one leg, uh, you put a relate. That relate. <clears throat> at that relate, you're gonna connect two wires, uh, which basically is gonna go. Uh, one wire is going to turn the relay off and the other wire is going to disactivate the relay, turn it off. Okay, that's what it's going to do. And uh, once you do that, uh, the other side of the relay, when you, when you, when you activate the relay, you're going to see power going from one side of the re of the re from one when you activate the relay it's going to be power going from one side of the relay to the other side so when that happens you send power to the extra wire which you're going to put at the one side of the leg so you're going to put you're going to connect the other uh, 40 foot uh, 40 foot wire an extra 14 gauge 40 foot wire at the other side of the relay where power is gonna go it's gonna transfer power when you activate the switch it's gonna transfer power so it's gonna send power to the other side of the relay so this relay is gonna activate the rest of the wire which is 40 foot that would be basically for 160 meters okay so if uh, if the 160 meters is not low, just gonna start trimming the wire at the, the 40 foot wire. Start trimming the wire on 160 with the SWR. Look at it, and you're gonna drop the SWR down, basically pretty much up and down the band. And uh, with the 75 meters, pretty much gonna do. Uh, the 246 that should give you 75 meters up and down the bend uh, pretty clear and the trick is this uh, the trick is basically uh, the length of the ladder line I got about 100 feet of ladder line from the feeding point of the of the dipole all the way down to the shack at the, at the end of the shack, I put about 10 feet of coax, 213 coax, to bring it into the station. Okay, between the, between the ladder line and the coax, this is very, uh, uh, very, uh, very important to use the nine, uh, four, 9 to 1 balance. That's what you're gonna use a 9 to 1 balance uh, connected to the ladder line to 450 ohms ladder line going to the feeding point on the dipole. And then at the end of the balance, 9 to 1 balance, you're gonna connect the 213, the, the 10 foot feet of coax, which is gonna bring it into your antenna switch. So once you do that, uh, pretty much is everything is done. Make sure you do well. Uh, you did a real good connection, soldered all that connections, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, good luck, and uh, you saw the demonstration over there. It's nothing difficult. Very very easy. Uh, get a relay or any type of relay which is going to switch on and off. Uh, from one wire to the extra wire for 160 doesn't have to be MFJ and uh, the the main thing is the 9 to 1 balance 1 to 1 balance is not gonna do it uh, it's a 600 it's a, a 675 ohms at the top uh, at the bottom from the ladder line if I put uh, one, a 1 to 1 balance to bring it up no, 4 to 1 balance to bring it up basically the one, I'm sorry, the 1 to 1 balance it did bring it up 
uh, to 160 ohms basically and then the, the 4 to 1 balance it brought it down to 80 90 ohms and the 9 to 1 balance brought everything basically flat SWR so that's what you need a 9 to 1 balance and the altitude got to be from 50 uh, 50 feet and I mean 55 feet and up the feeding point okay in order to use the 9 to 1 balance also so good luck uh, let me know uh, please let me know if you do anything like this and leave a comment on on my videos over there I also got a another video for 160 meters loop which I did with the same uh, with the same the, the same system basically uh, using a uh, relay and a switch to use two bands at the same time and very efficient flat SLR alright all all those the access station thank you for listening and thanks for the good contact and also side state uh, stations thank you very much with all you guys uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't be enjoying this hobby take care 73 and until next contact from NX70X from uh, I think uh, Worcester, Worcester, Washington. Take it all. 73's NX70X.